Stuff is a brand that merges function with style. Hi Sharks, my name is Braxton Fleming and I'm from Mays Landing, New Jersey. And I'm seeking $200,000 in exchange for 15% equity of my company. Six years ago, the trajectory of my whole life changed. I realized I was transgender. With this realization came with the lifelong commitment of taking hormone replacement therapy in the form of injections. During my first year of transitioning, there was nowhere to properly store my medical needs in a safe, neat, discreet, yet stylish way. That's where Stealth Pros & Co. revolutionized the way that we store our meds and dispose of our sharks. This was born out of my own need as a trans man. But I realized there were multiple underrepresented medical communities who needed this product. Who do you know that's a diabetic? Or maybe you know someone going through infertility treatment, a child with injectable needs, or even cisgendered individuals going through hormone replacement therapy. All of these underrepresented medical communities need options to travel with confidence for easy and proper at-home storage. That's where our dop kits and Stealth Sharp shuttles come in and save the day. It's time to upgrade your plastic bags woo, and your old jugs and store your meds in luxury. So sharks, who wants to fill the void of millions of people and take a shot with Stealth Bros & Co. Let's go! <laughs> yeah. Yes. So we can have a look at this here? Absolutely, please open up your bags and um, take a look at what you have. What do we have in front of us, Preston? Okay, so what you have in front of you is a Junior Dop Kit and a Stealth Sharp Shuttle inside. So the Junior Dop Kit that you have is our foundational Junior Dop Kit, which is in line with our sword interior. And then, Lori, you have our premium dop kit, which is made with our vegan faux leather. So your medicines and everything can go in here, the vials. Yes, that is for the vials. What's a sharp? So a sharps is part of your injectable needs. It's oh, a needle. It's a biohazard container Absolutely. to put your needle in. Absolutely. So after I use the needle, I put it in here. Yes. So you just pop this top open like this, and then it can close, and you can open it and close it multiple times. Once it's filled, then you want to take that little latch at the top, stick it in that compartment, and then it locks permanently, and then you can discard it appropriately. So this is the disposable aspect of the needles? Yes. But does only one come with your kit? I would think you'd be using these like crazy. So yes, we actually offer them in bundles. Uh -huh. So you could buy it for one, three, or five on my website, and we just received a major purchase order from a large retailer and they will be sold in a bundle pack of four. There are other DOP kits for injectables, right? Because I've seen plenty of them. Yes. And so you just made them more fashionable and more fashion looking. Correct. And same with the Sharps. Um, Absolutely. Okay. What was missing from the other kits and is it what Mark said? You right. just made it more fashionable right. and cool. And What was missing was the effect that it was daunting to take the injection for me. Even though I'm a nurse, I've been a nurse for the past 11 years, I realized that yes, I give injections every day, but when I was watching the YouTube videos online of my community taking these injections, I was realizing how much anxiety was bringing, it was bringing them. Sure. And once I created something that organized everything for them, they weren't all over the place. I wanna bring an experience to the user. I want them to feel good about themselves. And this brings happiness to my community, and that's what I'm how trying you, to do. How here. do you reach your community? How do you sell the product? So I sell the product all through e-commerce, and I've just been growing organically through influencer. And um, now would be a good time to ask you how much have you sold? Year to date, currently, we're at 110000 That's and good. And last year, what did you do, Braxton? We did 147000 so we're up 40% currently right now. What does this cost to make, and what do you sell it for? Okay, so the one that you have costs $5.80 for me, and then I sell it for $34. $34. That's a big margin. On the sharp stuff, what your cost is for one of these, Okay. and what you're gonna sell the one, three, and four pack, I guess. Okay, so if we buy over 10,000 pieces of that, it's at 28 cents, and then we sell them for 
$4 on the website, and then if you buy a pack of five, it's $15. And what are you going to sell for wholesale to the retailer? So I sell it to them for $7.50, and then they're reselling it for $14.99. So $7.50 for a pack of four, and it costs you $0.28? Cents? Yes. Thank you. Mark's going to start they... selling them. Braxton, can you tell us a little bit about yourself and your background? And Absolutely, absolutely. So I actually come from two entrepreneurial parents, and um, as I was growing up, I was very accepted in my family. You know, my parents loved me, they never judged me, they let me be whoever I wanted to be. And at the age of 27 years old, I said something is missing from my life. And that's when I realized that I was transgender. And once I made that change, as I was watching YouTube videos of other trans men taking hormone replacement injections, that's how I realized that there was a need for this. And I was indirectly assessing them with my nursing skills saying, oh, that's not safe. Like they're putting it in shoe boxes, they're putting it in plastic bags. And that's when I said, you know what? I really want to become a part of my community because they've given me so much that I wanted to give back. I created this brand and it just blew up. Is it just you running the business? It's all me. I do everything. I literally work out of my basement right now. I have all my product down there. Are you still doing this completely out of your basement? Yes. 100%. And, and are you nursing still? Or? Yes. I actually been trying to slow down because I've been putting more effort into the business. I, I'm just curious, the logo, Stealth Brothers and Company. Yes. Like, when you came out here, I thought... It's a great name it? now, now that we know right. and but, understand it, it's yeah. great. I'll explain the name. Stealth is because I wanted people to be able to keep their medication discreet. No, I get the stealth part. Right. Why the and Brothers then, and, and Company and the source? is... We're built on the foundation of the brotherhood of F to M, female to male brotherhood. I and see. then N Co is N communities that we keep, our allied communities. That's great. And then the swords are there for because iron sharpens iron, and more than one community coming together makes you better and stronger. And that's Do you have that up on your website, the explanation? I actually do not. You should. should. It's should. cool. Thank you. you. That's very cool. And there should be a video there of you explaining it because the power of how you just explained it. Yes. Yeah. That comes across very, very well. Thank you. I think that it's kind of the, the perfect kit and I love what you're doing for the community. I don't think you need a partner. I don't always say that. I rarely say it. I think you should run this. I think you should take all the profit and I think you should grow step by step and you're gonna have a wonderful business and reap what you sow. And for those reasons, I wish you good luck, but I'm out. Thank you, Lori, I appreciate it. So Braxton, the greatest part of your business, not to diminish the other parts of your business, is yeah. really you. Thank I mean, you. you exude an incredible warmth. Thank you. And personality that draws people to you. Thank you. I think you've got a good business. Just at the size you are right now, just not something for me. I'm out. I wish you all the best. Thank you. Thank you. I've had some personal experience. When I was trying to get pregnant, I was in doing in vitro for seven years to give birth wow. to my firstborn. Wow. Thank God it worked. God bless you. I remember being in business meetings, in museums, yes. in theaters, where it's time to take my big shot. Right. It was just as big as this. Yeah. With a big plunger. It was made of oil that burned when it was That's horrible. Right. Yeah. Uh, but the ingenious ways I had to come up with just to hide that. Not that I was ashamed, but what do you do with the damn needle? Right. You know, my life had to go on. Right. I used to carry books with me. <laughs> Cut out pages in the middle, cut wow. a page like a spot. Wow. And carry the book and stick the needles in there because you can't dispose in a restroom. You right. can't throw it in a garbage can. But let me tell you something. You have genuine warmth and love that your pitch comes from. You Thank feel you. it all over. And you know what? I'm a believer if you're that sincere. Yes. and you come from that love spot, yes. people always do well and they buy. They just buy. It's like a magic wand. And I think it's terrific what you're doing. Thank you so much, Barbara. Thank you. So I'm going to make you an offer okay. of $200,000, but I don't want to put in all cash. I'm going to give you $100,000 in a credit line, $100,000 cash. Okay. And I do want 20% of the business because I want to feel happy when you do well and make money. So I'd like to be part of that celebration with you. Yes. Yeah. I, I think it has merit. I think you have made something much more fashionable and interesting to own. I get it. Barb, do you want any help or do you want to do it yourself? You want to jump in? I think it's a good cause. Yeah, I'll split it with you if you want. Yeah, okay. I like the fact you know your numbers. Right. Uh, but it's not a product that's going to fit for me. Okay. But I wish you the best. You're a good guy. The presentation is very good. Thank you, Kevin. I'm out. But you do have an offer from a Sharkette. And Mark is still, I believe, 
No, I'm, I'm, I'm very interested, and Barb and I were talking. From an operational perspective, it's not just a cash issue, it's building your business issue as well. Yes, it is. Because you're doing it yourself, trying to scale it from the basement to a business Correct. is going to be a lot of work. And I think between our two organizations, we, we can complement each other to get you there. Absolutely. And so if it works with you, Barb and I will split it. So it's going to be $200,000. A hundred thousand of that, that in cash, and a hundred thousand dollars of that is a line of credit for twenty percent. What do you think, Braxton? Wow, that's amazing. What do you think? <laughs> um, it wouldn't be right if I didn't counter. So, are you guys willing to go to eighteen percent? Well, you guys got a deal. You got a deal. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Barbara. My pleasure. Congrats, and thank you so guys. much, everybody. Thank you. It's such a pleasure. Yeah. I'm so excited. I, I cannot believe that I just secured a deal with Mark and Barbara. I'm just like, oh my God, I just... I prayed so hard for this. For my family, for my community, for everybody.